Okay, the purpose of this brief video is just to get you started on using um, Excel to do regression. Okay, and I've got some data here uh, that's suggesting they're trying to figure out what's driving purchasing department cost. All right, so the first thing they're looking at are the dollars of merchandise purchased. All right, so the, the purchasing department costs then would depend on the merchandise purchase. That's the idea. So what we're going to do is put this in Excel. Uh, or no, it's in Excel. We're going to put, do a regression on it and see what the what the numbers look like. But first, you want to make sure that we've got the um, data analysis uh, uh, open up here, okay? Mine is called data analysis. Now it's called analyze data. It's a little bit different. So you'd want to go to file and down here to options and add-ins then analysis tool pack okay so analysis tool pack and then go and you can see mine is checked off and then say okay and if this was not open before it'll be open now all right I'm gonna cancel this because I've already got it um, um, and mine says analyze data it might be because it's an old file and maybe this is the way Excel was when I did this the first time who knows you know Okay, so this is data analysis, and I'm gonna, I want regression. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's kind of work. You can do a t-test, um, but regression, where'd it go? Regression and okay. And this is your screen. This is your input screen. And I just did this so that it's remembering what I did. But I put in, first of all, your y range, and your y would be your dependent variable. And we're saying the purchasing dollars spent depend on the amount of merchandise purchased okay so the purchasing dollars that's going to be C, C4 all right C4 through C14 C4 through C14 and notice that I clicked off labels here because I want the labels on my output it just makes it easier to read and um, then you're sure of what you're looking at and if you look at it a couple days later you remember it okay so and I'm going to put it in the same in the same range here so that we can see it when it's done. So, and then my independent variable would be merchandise purchase, that's this, and that would go here as D4 to D14, including the labels, because I've got these labels checked off, okay, otherwise you would not include them. I'm gonna say okay. All right, and just like that, here's everything, okay, here's everything that you need. So, uh, this tells us tells us quite a bit. It tells us that our R square is 0 0.0798. That tells me that it only explains 9.9 .9, um, or say 8 percent of the of the variance in the purchase and the merchandise purchase dollars. So this or merchandise purchasing department costs so this probably isn't very significant. And then down here my intercept is um, I actually when I do this I put some formatting in here. Um, so that's a million oh forty one. That's my intercept, all right. So that's a big, big piece of fixed cost. And we can see here that for variable costs, it it lends almost nothing. Point zero zero three. So it's point three, um, point three cents. You know, a third of a penny is how much it adds to the data. And we can tell when we look at the uh, T statistics, it's point eight three. It should be greater than one point nine eight, right? Is the number we're using. And the p-value is definitely not not wonderful. Okay, this is um, 0.42, and it should be uh, less than 0 0.05. Okay, so that so we can tell that this is not a good fit. Do I have this done someplace else? Uh, maybe not. No. Okay, is it here? No. All right. So that's all you need to know to be able to run the regression. And then if you look at some of the uh, solutions to the homework uh, in the modules, there are really good explanations that help you reading this chart if you wanted something else to go through again, okay, maybe replay it. Okay, best of luck.